The truly loyal Jets fans are in the house, and off we go from East Rutherford. From four deep, Marshall will take it out, and the former Auburn quarterback, who's working into a special teams role, will get it out to the 25-yard line. The fourth different right tackle this year. From the 25, Petty to the air. And he throws it low for Quincy Inunua. The pass is incomplete. Cameron Wake to Petty. And this is third start overall, second in a row. They toss it to Moral Powell. And that Dolphin defensive line strengthened their team with the surge. Get him comfortable. This is third and 11. And Petty throws it complete to Powell. And Moral Powell across the 40 to the 45 yard line. A pickup of 21. And a Jets first down, Bobby McCain, at 49 yards from scrimmage. In his sixth year out of Louisville, the former Jets' fourth-round pick, Powell, will take it just shy of midfield. Round pick last year, Xavier Howard, their second-round pick this year, has come into the lineup tonight off that knee injury. It's going to be caused by Andre Branch as he moved and the reaction from the Jets' offense. Neutral zone infraction, number 50, offense. A defense, five-yard penalty, remains second down. Good play-calling situation for Chan Gary, the Jets' offensive coordinator. Second and a long yard, and they will give to Powell. Got a good pulling block to get down to the 40-yard line. And a first down. Gain of seven, Kiko Alonzo. First and ten for the 40. Will play action as Petty spins. Sees nothing open. Chased by Mitchell and throws it to the sideline. Showing command of the offense here, getting to another play, and firing in the middle, complete on the run, Robbie Anderson, inside the 10, opening drive, touchdown, New York Jets. Anderson on Rambo, and it was man-to-man -man coverage, and he just beat him across his face, over the top across his face. And the bottom line is that he made the check, he saw man coverage, checked out of the run. He'll kill, got to the other play. And it was a perfect one, a 40-yarder for Anderson. Extra point added by Nick Folk. Nick Folk will kick to Jakeem Grant and Kenyon Drake. Remember, it was Drake with a 96-yard touchdown return that won the first meeting between these teams. On the bounce, it's taken by Jakeem Grant. Got away from two Jets covering, but cannot get away from the third. And Devin Smith makes the tackle. It'll be... But the Dolphins wanted to get a little bit more stout in there, so Urbic gets his second start of the year at center. Blocking for Jay Ajayi, who gets hit hard after the gain of four. Rontez Miles. After the gain of five, it's second and five for Moore, who throws complete to Marquis Gray, the tight end, and he'll get a first down. 25 games in the NFL, and now he's probably starting the last three. Ajayi runs into the waiting arms of Leonard Williams, who's had a very good second season defensive line, but Williams had the standout season on second and 11 Ajayi again Williams again minimal gain third and long for the Dolphins clear on the medical future we'll delve into that more but he's on the sideline watching more on third and ten nothing for Landry blanketed by Revis Nick Marshall waits for the Matt Dar putt For a line drive 39 yarder taken on the run by Marshall who returns at five. But the Jets will get good field position. New York will take over for the Christmas weekend on the cup before you hear on NFL Network. Penny taking over from his own 46. It's Bilal Powell again with the carry. From the 49, complete to Powell. This tackle on the open field and Bilal Powell who ran just like that. Go up and step up here. Forte the back. Difficult snap, Penny lucky to get it, and unlucky that a Dominican Sue was waiting to just put him down. Loss of three on the play. They feel the performance has been this year. Second and 13 for Penny, surveys the field, open in the middle. It's Brandon Marshall for the first down. Marshall inside the 21 to the 20-yard line. A nice progress from last week to this week so far for Penny. And it's movement up front by Sue. Recognized and reacted to by Winters. Neutral zone infraction, number 93 defense. Five-yard penalty. Still first down. That's Maxwell on the bench. 
Well, Powell in the back, 15, the red zone, the shovel pass to Powell, and Sue waiting, and they blew that one dead. Out of that, it wasn't a tough coverage for a corner. He had to do a lot of learning when he got here. In the 16, stretching it out. Powell with a run to the 14, gain of two, and third and four. There's two linebackers sniffing in there. They get out, and he's going to get hit and go down. And the ball came out as well. Cameron Wake hit him. It is free, and it belongs to the Dolphins. And Dominican Sue recovers. We said their D-line's got to show up. They do on that play. Get the ball back for Miami. Wake gets the sack, forces the fumble. Sue gets it for Miami. And from the 25, more is complete. But nowhere to go for the tight end, Deion Sims. No gain as Darren Lee makes the play for this Jets defense. Going to get Pennsylvania. Darrell Revis, Pitt. Revis already with uh, one good play in his first quarter. Ajayi runs left. He'll gain a couple. And David Harris. Third and six. Jets showing pressure. Bringing five. Moore's got time. Downfield double coverage. Incomplete. Tried to get it to Kenny Stills. He could not. Matt Dar kicks it away for the second time. Better hang time on this one. It's 46 yards. Nick Marshall stepped out of bounds as he tried to cut it back inside. Free catch signal was quickly given by Nick Marshall. And then he advanced the ball. Should have been a flag. It was not. And the Jets take over from their own 25. And Penny complete to Brandon Marshall. And a pickup of a dozen for Marshall and a first down. Illegal a use flag down. of hands. Hands to the face. Number 71. Offense. Five-yard penalty. Still first down. A lot of inexperience at the tackle spots for the Jets in front of Petty. Another good run by Powell, getting some of that penalty yardage back to the 23-yard line. It's early in the season, once after four games, so he's returning to the lineup tonight for the first time in two and a half months. Pressure on Petty, screen to Powell, who tried to dunk under Jordan Phillips, but he could not. Jets tackles who are spring sprint stance. Third and 17, screen set up. Powell able to collect it, but nowhere to go as the Dolphins were all over that. Ozzy gets it away. The punch is 39. It was tough to catch. Brought in by Grant. He's hemmed on the sideline. Safety uh, down the line maybe next year. Tony Dungy said no to that on the pregame. <laughs> Tony's going to join us in the booth here when we start the second quarter, which will be momentarily as Jay Ajayi is stopped. Teams. Dolphins behind by seven as the second quarter begins and Ajayi on the run into Jets territory at the 49-yard line. Mike Tirico, Doug Flutie. Dolphins, it has not been easy on any down. It's third and six. Jets bring pressure as Moore fires, and it's complete. Devontae Parker with the first down to the 31. That's a gain of 17. Defense tonight. From the 31, fake to Ajayi. Moore throws, and this one is caught by Jarvis Landry, he almost had a double catch it, but a gain of 11 and another Dolphin first down. To the red zone for Matt Moore, in for the injured Ryan Tannehill, gonna go back to the air again. Bob's the pocket, throws to the corner, caught by Gray. Marquise Gray hangs on, he's down at the one. It'll be first and goal and a gain of 19. When he read the coverage, he knew where his mismatch was. First and goal, Moore trips as he gets it to Damian Williams, and he will be stopped for no gain at the one yard line. Dolphins do not have a pure fullback. They've used Williams in this role down close this year. Just out to the one, Ajayi slams it in there and he runs into a green wall. Nothing going, it'll be third and goal. Third and goal, Moore will roll it. Thought about running, now will throw and it is caught in Bowser. No, they say no incomplete for Deion Sims in the sideline. And really no place to go. Well played by the Jets defense. Good throw, but I don't think he's in bounds either. Let's see. Catch there. Oh, that left no. knee skins down. Does inside. he have possession when that knee is down? The knee definitely hit. I kind of thought Miami he, is challenging the ruling of the on the field of an incomplete pass. I thought he had kind of double clutched it. And that last look before break, After Tony thought he was in. Play, I think you're right. Ruling on the field is a touchdown. The receiver had control and a knee down in the end zone. So the touchdown stands. Andrew Franks to tie the game. And that one is no good.
Off the left upright. Ends on a Santa's ride a week from tonight. Holiday spirit all around this New York metropolitan area. Marshall goes over to get it. Touchback. Jets will take over at the 25. Sit, watch, and learn. And this is a four-game audition to see what he has in terms of planning for next year. As we have Bilal Powell running the way he has the last six quarters. First down gain in 2015. Powell again. We cut back to the left. First down run to the 38-yard line. He was telling us, Heather, that's been his story. From his uh, days, he was a three-star recruit. Headed for Tennessee. Coaching change got to Baylor. He has Powell here. And a good first down gain of eight for Bilal Powell, who's carrying the load. Matt Forte playing with that bulky right knee is in there. He picked up the block on Alonzo. Alonzo knocked him over. And the pass complete to Inunua. Made a man miss. And Quincy Inunua running through the secondary to the 27. A pickup of 27 yards. 25 out of Nebraska. His 48th catch on the season. Petty on the move. He looks comfortable throwing on the move. Looking for Marshall incomplete. As Brandon Marshall is being covered by Xavier Howard. Second and ten. And Petty throws an interception right into the waiting arms of Cameron Wake. He's got a sack and he's got a pick here tonight. Up last week with the Army Navy game. Interception thrown by Petty. Moore gets it at the 36. Marquise Gray only a yard. As we said, his first career pick. So Cameron's keeping that football. Jay Ajayi running left. Nowhere to go. Calvin Pryor off for a strong safety spot. Off in time. Pressure coming. Moore hit as he throws. Incomplete. High for Devontae, or rather for Kenny Stills. Justin Burris. Matt Dar kicks to Nick Marshall again. Middle of the field, tough to catch. Bodies there. Don't know if it hit a jet first. Marshall's on it, and he's got some space because the Dolphins were coming at the ball. Finally, Spencer Pacinger escorts him to the sideline. 32 scored on the opening drive of this game, leading seven to six because of the missed extra point. Outstanding half continues for Bilal Powell. Gain of 12 in the first down to the 44-yard line. He touches 91 yards so far for the Jets. And again, third time that Miami has uh, fallen to a hard count here. Jordan Phillips. Neutral zone infraction, number 97 defense. Five-yard penalty, still first down. Almost had a kill. So first and five, and Penny will take the deep shot. Marshall couldn't bring it in. Step for step, Xavier Howard right there with him, Tony. Second and five. He looked to throw the quick hitch. It wasn't there, and he goes down. Issa abdul Kadus, the safety. His second career sack had one with the Lions two years ago. So for first and five, it's third and seven. Petty throws it for Powell, who gets right to the 46. The mark's going to be a half yard short. Really doing a good job of, of working in the pocket and going through progressions. We have to take a card out, see if you can sneak it in there between the nose and the ball. Nope, it's there, first down. Just touching the front of the stick. Pick up a first down. You see this knee came down right at the edge of the NFL logo, which is where the ball was when the knee came down. That would have been just he's has used one challenge and he's going to use the second one. I so, think he's going to win this one too, Mike. Miami is challenging the ruling on the field. And it would set up a fourth and one. Making the first down. The spot. Knee down. Where's the ball there? Clearly still in the blue of the NFL logo. Right at the 47 yard line. And that would be a full yard shy of the first down. First peak down. After reviewing the play, the runner's knee was down. The ball will be placed at the 47-yard line. Miami has won two challenges by rule. They're entitled to another challenge during this game. Brandon Bostic back there and Nunwa lining up with him to lead the way for Powell. He's not going to get there. Pico Alonso got to the other side of the line of scrimmage. Made the play to start with for Miami. Dealing with a hamstring injury, broken right thumb. Missed last week, back this week. The Jets are now challenging this play. New York will challenge the previous play of the line the game. Elbow comes down again, line to gain the 46. Does it? No, his elbow. Oh, you can't see. 
doesn't look like the Jets offense is moving anywhere near After the field. After reviewing the play, the ruling on the field is confirmed. New York will be charged a timeout, their second team timeout. First down, my, my. It's the final spot for the moment. Trying to do it with Matt Moore, their backup quarterback. Jay Ajayi, first down carry in about four. We want to go out and get these next two. 315 till halftime. Back to Ajayi to the left. And Sheldon Richardson waiting there. We have a timetable until they take that cast off. It's a, it's a flag thrown here. Ball start, by Miami number 10. As Kenny Off Stills. Five yard penalty. Still third down. Move towards the line. They're the four rookie head coaches this year in the NFL at eight and five. Pressure coming. Moore gets hit. Puts it up top. Racing is Stills. He's got it. Kenny Stills. Touchdown, Dolphins. 52 yards as Moore hangs in against the Blitz. Miles is going to come from the outside edge over here, unblocked, but Moore hangs in there, and with a post route, you can just lay it out there. Extra point, hit the left upright. This one still has that little draw, but he knocks it through. Coming up, Rodney's teammates with LT, really, back in the day, in different stops, so a reunion with Chris coming up at the half. Marshall returning for the Jets. Spencer Pacinger is second special teams stop of this game. These guys like Adam Gaze. They've really connected with the 38-year-old coach very well. Jets one time out in this two-minute drill. Penny look out. Flag down as he gets hit. Powell with the reception and gets out of bounds. Man, is he having a good half. Holding. Number 67 offense. 10-yard penalty. Still first down. Brian Winters. <laughs> Man, is he having a half. From the 12 with a three-man rush. Petty underneath complete. Sharon Peak, the rookie out of Clemson with the catch. Bobby McCain, the tackle. Huddle during his college days at Baylor. A little more sophisticated, obviously, here. Sue busting in again, and Marshall dropped it. So they might be in a stretch here where they can extend this game. They get pressure on Petty. It's picked up, and the Petty pass is complete to Robbie Anderson. From the 33, Penny's pass, another one, tapping the toes, got him down. Quincy Anunua at the 46-yard line, pickup of 13. <laughs> Minute 10 till half, Penny middle behind Anunua, trying to get it over the good coverage of Michael Thomas. We like our coach. Yes. You know, we, we see him getting some heat on the back page of the tabloids in New York, and we want to help him out here. Penny gets out of the tackle box and just bench it, throw it incomplete. Okay. Third and ten with a minute two to go. Powell, check down. Can he get there? Beautiful move by Powell for the first down at the 38-yard line. That would have been a good opportunity to save a chunk. Jets have converted third and ten twice. Incomplete for Powell. 33 seconds left. I said torn meniscus. He says he's been playing that for most of the year. He is active. Has played a few snaps. In the middle of the field, no timeouts. Jerome Peak again against the 30. Now 20 seconds, well, one timeout. 26 seconds left. This is third and two. They're in Folks' field goal range. Good pickup on Wake. Marshall incomplete. Marshall thought he had a step here, and his only misses have been blocked field goals. Three of them. Laces were facing him, but Folks does a nice job and knocks it through. A 48-yard field goal for Folk. Folk will just put this on the ground, try to limit the return, keep it out of the hands of the good returners, and it's Marquise Gray will take it to the 35-yard line. Because of the relationship Dan had with his backups. 16 seconds, two timeouts. Not going to just take a knee and try to get down the field a little bit. Beautiful pass break up, but a flag called on Doug Middleton. Ran across the back of the legs for the defensive interference call. pass interference number 36. Automatic first down. Tony, talk to me what you're thinking here. Change comparable to other kickers. About 51 yards maybe is max. Here's more. Harris pressures him. He gets rid of it. Incomplete. Is there a receiver over there? Is he in the tackle box? Is that grounding? They're going to come talk about this here. I think that might be grounding, guys. Intentional grounding. grounding. Number eight. With six seconds left. Ten yard penalty. And lost it down. Third down. By rule, intentional grounding requires the clock to be run 10 seconds. 
10 seconds will be off the clock. That is the end of the half. Yeah, it's be working overnight to get that done here at MetLife. But they can't do the end zones because of the weather conditions. So the diagonal lines here is Kenyon Drake from out of the end zone, taken to the 22 yard line. And the Jai's overall numbers continue to be down. 10 carries, 19 yards. He loses the ball here. Marquise Gray was on it for Miami. And the tight end comes up with the recovery. In the gash, but at the end of the run, it comes out running into his own man, not even a hit. Miami very fortunate to get this back. It stays loose for a little while on the ground. This is, of course, the scene of the butt fumble. I giving four years ago. And some of those things hang with you. Second and three at Jai again, right side. Tristan turning a tack hard by Sheldon Richardson and Calvin Pryor. You've got to do a better job against the pass, Mike. All right, Heather, here's a Jai from the 35, gets the first three carries here. We'll gain three until Jordan, maybe four until Jordan Jenkins. From the 39, Matt Moore gets rid of it, incomplete. Devontae Parker peeled off of and six. They've brought pressure, a couple of third down situations. Bring some heat again, and Moore puts it up top for Parker, under thrown, and Burst comes up with his first NFL interception. He's at North Carolina State. Bryce Petty takes over from the 30, back to the hot hand. Bilal Powell, 13-yard gain, and a first down. It almost took it a long way. Not on it. 13 for Powell on first down. Pressure gets away from Earl Mitchell, completes it to Powell, who's seven yards behind. The line of scrimmage and Andre Branch cleans it up. Thanks for the catch. The minus seven yeah, yeah. doesn't help the average. Second and long. Al with Mitchell again chasing him, and the gain is only four yards. It'll be third and long. Matt Forte in the game next to Petty. And the throw in the middle is incomplete, intended for Quincy Inunua. And the safety Michael Thomas, the linebacker Kiko Alonso were there. It, all of a sudden, it's low. Oh, block punt! The Dolphins bust through. Walt Aikens blocks it, scoops it, scores it. Touchdown, Miami! There's a flag down at the line of scrimmage. It's Sunday. Illegal formation. Offense. The penalty will be declined. The result of the play is a touchdown. Aikens gets the special team score here. It's working on Brandon Wiles, and Wiles just doesn't get enough of him, doesn't get a piece at all. Aikens takes advantage of it, scoop and score. As you said, the two-point conversion a week ago. He also had a great play on special teams down on the ball at the one-yard line. Plays the last couple of weeks by Aikens, really has jumped this Miami cause. Extra point added here by Andrew Franks, and it is 20 to 10. And streaming on Twitter. 20 to 10. And Nick Marshall will bring it out. And won't get to the 20 yard line. Jets take over from their own 19. Now down 10. Penny takes the sideline shot. And that one's intercepted. Beautiful play on the ball by Tony Lippett. That play well early on has really brought his play up the last two months with a big pick there. More from the 40. Middle of the field, Landry. Jarvis Landry on the spin. Gain of 20. Gain of 25. Landry gets 31 yards. And you can feel the momentum of this aggressive Dolphin team. From the 29. More back to the air. Putting it up top for Deion Sims, the tight end. He makes the catch. Sims keeps crawling down to the one yard line. Moore will give to the up back Damian Williams. And again, good penetration by that Jets defensive line. They came up big two plays on first and goal from inside the two on the prior. Ajayi tries to go low to break the play. Line judge Carl Johnson, former head of officiating for the NFL, back on the field, comes in, marks him short. Williams in there, moves to the outside, Moore rolls, throws across to Sims for the touchdown. Deion Sims. It's a great feel by Sims to sit it down. He's supposed to be running the court. He sits it down and gives a window, to, finds him right away. Matt Moore on the roll. Again, they had to get away from hammering the football. 
You see him there as Andrew Franks gets set for this extra point. And it's 27-10 Miami. And never seeing the field, it's very difficult to make yourself do it week after week, and he was prepared. From the goal line, Nick Marshall for the Jets. Pacing her again. Three special teams tackles for... Kill, kill! Now here are the Jets down 17 halfway through the third. This has been the best thing they've done tonight. Bilal Powell runs for four. He's got 12 carries. Kill, kill! Now here are the Jets down 17 halfway through the third. This has been the best thing they've done tonight. Bilal Powell runs for four. He's got 12 carries. Third and six. Twisting rush in front of Penny. His pass to Brandon Marshall incomplete. Not a lot of space there as Tony Lippett was in coverage. Lachlan Edwards had the last one blocked. Gets this one away. It's 49, 50 yards. A lot of space for Jakeem Grant on a return. Darren Lee, the linebacker, makes the tackle at the 33-yard line. NFL Network will be previewing the Giants-Lions game. More of the slam. Landry under on the lookout. Jarvis Landry, 40. 30, Landry beats Pryor, Landry touchdown Miami, Dolphins blowing the Jets out, 66 yards. No one inside, you cannot allow the man inside, and it was actually Marcus Williams in coverage on Landry, and Pryor's just trying to, to cover from the free safety position to get there. Matt Moore's fourth touchdown pass of the night. And after the Jets jumped up 7-0, 34 to 3 since going to the right man. If Marshall will take a knee, we'll take it down to Heather Moore on the man who just scored. We all checked our phones. Alan Chris didn't send us any text. No, absolutely not. No. <laughs> they don't care. Here's the run for Powell up the middle. The Bilal Powell gain 11 yards. Hollis when they get to the NFL. All the seven-on-seven seven stuff that happens in the summer as well. Petty up top in Nunwa. Look out in the middle. He's at Bill Caduce is going to be called for the contact on in Nunwa. Foul, unnecessary roughness. Hit on a defenseless player, number 24 defense. A 15-yard penalty, an automatic first down. To the Miami side at the Dolphins 49. And Petty. Throws complete to the tight end, and that is uh, breaking news here in New York when a tight end catches the ball compared to any other team in the league. But as Tony mentioned earlier, Quincy Nunwa gives you a lot of what a tight end would give you. Petty taking the shot downfield toward Brandon Marshall, incomplete. Third and seven, pressure picked up, back up top again. This time for Sharon Peak, bring the Jets back in the game. Lachlan Edwards gets it away, Landry runs up, and we'll just grab it and hold him to the 16. And pedestrian traffic, city's packed, but it always is holiday season. Ajayi got away from one tackle, but will go down. Big loss there, Leonard Williams was... Evans doing that uh, in replacement games, too, in 1987. His initial starts, there's a run by Ajayi, got the missed yards back, big hit on Ajayi by Pryor. Dolphins are glad that he is there. They go without a huddle here on third and eight, trying not let the Jets get into their pressure personnel. False start, number 76, offense. Five-yard penalty, still third down. But Brandon Albert moved early. Three wide receivers, tight end, five in the pattern for Moore, who uh, could sense there was nothing going on, and Matt Dar to kick it away. Marshall waiting back there, telling everyone to get away. And a 43-yard kick, taken at the 43. Yeah, I thought you were, Tony, <laughs> back in the day. <laughs> Run up the middle here from Powell across midfield into Jets territory. And at that time, that Jets team had speed. And New Yorkers have migrated to South Florida, so when this rivalry is played, you get fans from the other team in the stadium. Powell the first down to the 46-yard line. On first and ten, coming clean off the edge is Neville Hewitt. And he gets his first sack of the season. The fans at Remain are trying to shout down the Dolphin fans who are 
Channing, let's go Dolphins. Nunua across the middle. And he finds him. Gets the sack yardage back and then some to the 41 yard line, and that will terminate. So it is very possible in 24 hours as Petty gets crushed again, hit by two as he put up his complete to Robbie Anderson, who's inside the 15 yard line, but Petty's hurt. Two guys coming in clean. I mean, just protection's been abysmal tonight. So Ryan Fitzpatrick back in there for the Jets. Malal Powell will not go anywhere. And Dominic Sue's been extraordinarily good tonight. Great throw. From the 14, Fitzpatrick will throw it inside. It's completed. And the Nunois will only gain a yard or two. So Todd Bowles telling us Fitzpatrick has been very professional about the entire situation. Third and ten. Here he is rolling. And he'll get to the sideline, pushed down by Spencer Pacinger. Never got on the same page. It is fourth and two. And Fitzpatrick fires incomplete. Pacinger knocks it down. And Miami will take over on down. Miami takes over at its own five-yard line, leading by 24. Two-yard gain for Jay Ajayi. Ajayi. All right, hit. Ten by Bruce Carter. My goodness, that was incredible. That's up trying to throw, see if he can come back in the game. Ajayi to the left. The flag is down as he's across the 25 to the 27. Illegal shift offense. The linemen were going down while mad in motion. Five yard penalty remains. To Too many penalties last week. Yeah. Tony, eight for 55 here tonight. Ajayi. He gets to the 14-yard line, yard, yard shy to the starter. 200 yards back to back a month later, right? The kick away from Matt Dar to the sideline. Of course, Nick Marshall just catch it on NFL Network, and then the Chiefs and the Broncos on NBC on Christmas night. Carry there for about a yard with Matt Forte. Stephen Whoa, okay. Jones saw the COO of the Cowboys and the grandson, obviously, of owner, president, general manager Jerry Jones. Forte with the catch to the 46-yard line. So congratulations to the Jones family for the all-time football is family moments of this season. Run up the middle for Forte inside the 40. He'll go to the 38. Turning green to blue. Jets colors to Giants. Inunua juggles. Did he hang on? Yes, he did. Quincy Inunua with the reception to the 29. Second leading receiver is closing in on Brandon Marshall. Five receptions behind Marshall. Forte to the 23-yard line. Here's Heather. Got a long night ahead of them, Mike. And they will get the job done. They had to clear the snow out of the parking lots. Fitzpatrick, end zone shot against the pressure for Marshall. And again, Xavier Howard. Now the part of the parking lot. It's at Giant Stadium. They played their home games for a long time after their earlier days. Shea Stadium. Forte with Gary Neville Hewitt, the tackle. 6.25 to go. The fans would bounce up and down. Some good days at Jets history. Fitzpatrick getting rid of it. Incomplete. So I'm guessing if you're going to make the comeback, you need three touchdowns and a field goal, right? So the onside kick start here? Is that right? Preparing for a potential onside kick from Nick Folk. We'll just kick it away here at 34-13. Jakeem Grant. Get out of bounds. 12-yard line. Felt good about his ability to play. In all our meetings with the coaching staff, total confidence in him to run the entire game plan. Kenyon Gray gets out of bounds. He wants to stay in bounds, but outside of five. 180! Stayed down this football path, and it's been a terrific one. Drake with the carry. It's just amazing how the league works sometimes as Drake has stopped for a minimal game. And has been around for five years since the backup to Tannehill. Kenyon Drake. Jarvis Landry gives him a block to get the first down. Gonna stay in bounds and go down at the 31-yard line with four minutes left. Drake again. Penetration by the Jets and Bruce Carter with a tackle. Tony, and I'm so glad you mentioned the defense. That defensive line started from the very beginning of this game. Vance Joseph, their defensive coordinator, told us as Drake stays in bounds. No game. Three game shows on Sunday. And then a pretty good slate of action capped off by the Sunday nighter.
with Tampa and the Cowboys. Nothing. Six-time British Columbia player in the league. So Dominican Sue give you the 503. That's the area code. Portland is home area. Nick Marshall on the return for the Jets. Nobody looked really interested. Being made, of that play. Somebody make a tackle. Minnesota hosting an Indianapolis team that is struggling in the Twin Cities tomorrow. Pass down Brandon Marshall as Issa Abdul Kadus will pick up a second flag. Personal foul. Hit on defenseless receiver. Defense. 15 yard penalty. Automatic first down. McCain, their starting nickel, came limping over to the sideline. Uh, just keep an eye on that through the news coverage in Miami this week. The flag is down as Powell takes it to the 20 yard line. Defense offside, lined up in the neutral zone. Penalty is declined. Result of the play is the first down. To New England for Christmas Eve will close with the Bills here on the first. Fitzpatrick can run for four. Terrific sit down with Jameis Winston on Football Night in America. Dolphins bring blitz. Fitzpatrick throws to Marshall incomplete. Defense in this building outstanding on Sunday. And this Tampa defense. They're playing very well. Very well. Fitzpatrick will throw complete to Robbie Anderson. No gain. 27 seconds left. He's Dolphins on their way to sweeping the Jets for the first time since 2009. Fourth and six. And Fitzpatrick intercepted by Tony Lippett. He can't help himself. He's got to go for it. Hey, you know, stats look good at the end of the year, and that's two picks, and that's four for the season. And they mercifully run that last second off the clock, and this game is over. The Miami Dolphins, a winning season to 9-5, and five, and most importantly for them, they put the pressure on Denver and everybody else in the AFC playoff chase as the Dolphins try to find their way into the postseason for just the second time in the last 14 years.